Uh, today I'm gonna be doing the test of the radiant barrier that I just bought uh, from Home Depot and this is made by Reflectix uh, number RB4812550 and this is just the box I already put the foil in my attic to see how it's going to protect uh, my attic and we'll see if we have a different temperatures in the attic and underneath the foil to accurately check temperature I'm using this uh, sensor this is my wind meter uh, which also includes a temperature sensor and if I turn it on I'm gonna check the temperature right here in the attic and right now we have 936 so it's still early the temperature I assume it's not gonna be uh, a lot we'll see what it is uh, click start so over here we already have 86.2 degrees and actually it's coming down because it's actually a little bit colder in the attic than in my garage right now so I'm gonna leave it for the next uh, I don't know several minutes and then I'm gonna double check and then I'm gonna check the put this uh, sensor underneath this area of the foil I think that's big enough to see if the temperature underneath the insulation uh, against the ceiling is gonna to be lower and we're gonna see of how much this way I'm gonna be able to determine whether this foil is actually useful in the attic or it's just another BS okay now I'm up in my attic and I'm checking the temperature on my wireless thermometer it shows 89.8 my infrared shows 89.7 it's almost the same so it's about 89 degrees in my attic I'm gonna put this sensor underneath the insulation and then I'm going to cover that with the radiant barrier barrier and we'll see how the temperature is underneath interesting observation when I point this laser gun to my insulation I'm getting about 89 degrees if I switch to foil it's 96 so it looks like this radiates some energy that's why it shows more depending how close now this is 96 and this is 89 so it's like five degrees difference so my sensor is underneath a uh, radiant barrier and underneath uh, regular insulation and my temperature shows 80.6 80.8 the ceiling inside of my room when I checked with this thermometer shows about 74 75 degrees without the radiant barrier and just with insulation I basically have the same temperature 80.6 80 80.8 80 so already this radiant barrier on top of uh, my ceiling does not do much I think that this foil will make a difference if you're going to put it underneath uh, your roof but the one big downside of it is that if you have an elix then you will not gonna be able to see where it's coming from and in my case when my roof is kind of old and I'm gonna want to replace it it really doesn't make sense to put a radiant barrier barrier if I'll have to replace the roof so for my situation it really doesn't make sense to spend so much money uh, just to cover an entire attic with this foil so your situation might be different this is my experiment and uh, I just wanted to share it with you thank you for watching guys Goodbye.